Hi guys, welcome to Snake Nook. I'm Vanny and with me I have Tsunami. She is my Colombian boa imperator. She's a sub-adult, soon to be two years old. And Tsunami is joining me for both the intro and outro today. So the topic of this video is, it's all about the boas today. <laughs> Naughty little typhoon gets an outing and he keeps me busy. We're also gonna see a little bit of Herc out there, Hurricane, my other Colombian boa imperator. And we're gonna just talk a little bit about what Typhoon is up to. And I'm gonna throw in some little boa facts in there somewhere. <laughs> but really and truly, this video is more of a vlog inspired type video that I wanna share with you guys. Stay tuned. The Typhoon. Typhoon, you don't wanna come and see me? No, Typhoon doesn't want to come and see me. Hi there, Herc. Oh, where are you? Here you are. Typhoon, I'm not going to be able to reach you if you go much higher. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to get up there and go see what he's up to. Typhoon, trying to convince Typhoon to stay on the hammock. <laughs> stay on the hammock chair. No, no, no. I'm not going to be able to get you down. No, sir. <laughs> You're an agile climber. You are. <laughs> I've been trying to keep him from going up there, but it's not working. And if he makes it up there to that big old branch, I'm doomed. No, Typhoon. No. Don't go too far. <laughs> I can't reach him. I have to get up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, now you're in a pickle, Typhoon. Look at that. Look at this, guys. He is wedged um, within the loop of this hook. And I'm trying to see. Well, he's really wedged in there. Um, I can't quite. Um, he's the only one that's going to be able to get himself out of this mess. <laughs> oh my God, Typhoon, what did you do? Oh, the conundrums of taking boas out to play. Well, you can't go that far up because I can't reach you. What are you doing? Wonderful. Uh uh uh. I'm not. I'm not tall, Typhoon. I can't. I can't. Oh my goodness! I'm on my tippy toes. Oh. Okay, managed to get this climber off the tree just in the nick of time. He was about to climb just a little too far up there and I wouldn't have been able to reach him. It's been quite the challenge. You've been challenging this morning. Yes, you have been. Yes, I'm not gonna trust you on the tree right now. Look at beautiful little Herc. He's just hanging out. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Something like that. But no, we have to be an individual. Of course we do. We have to be an individual. And show off our climbing skills. I never had any doubts, Typhoon. I know you're an agile climber. Never had any doubts. Look at how pretty you are. Lots of iridescence, wow. Hi there, Herc. Hello there, Herc. What the Herc doing? What the Herc doing? What do you smell? Do you smell the squirrel that lives in the tree? Do you smell the squirrel? I do. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Well, Typhoon, I don't even know why I bring out my little hammock chair because whenever I bring out the snakes, I just, it's extra work for me as far as just using the hammock chair and so I don't even get to use it. I just bring it out, hang it, and then it just stays there because these guys keep me busy. This one, this one keeps me busy. Yes, you keep me, look at you, you've got like debris all over you. <laughs> My dog is waiting for the squirrels that run on the top side of the fence. 
so he knows that that's where they run along all the time and he, he's waiting for them. <laughs> a few squirrels live in these trees, my neighbor's trees and mine, and so he knows, he knows that they're all over the place and he's waiting for them. <laughs> Hello there, the Huck. Hello there. Look at you. Look at you, Typhoon. Can't even put you on the tree. Look how pretty you are. Look how pretty the Herc. No, the Typhoon. Goodness gracious. Look how pretty you are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Beautiful snook. Yes. I um, made up a term for my snake, guys. I just put the word snack. Uh, snack. <laughs> Sorry. It's a nook and came up with snook. Um, sometimes I lovingly refer to them as snooks. Um, look at how gorgeous Typhoon is. And he is a wild type Central American boa. Look at that. No need for morphs. I will never understand the morph craze. Never. Yes, there are so many beautiful looking snakes when you have uh, certain morphs and the colors the color variations and patterns but just appreciating the wild type look at that guys it's a beautiful looking boa beautiful looking boa less than $100 well less than $100 look at that she's beautiful or he rather sorry he's beautiful look at that gorgeous snake that cannot be trusted on the trees <laughs> hi there the herc what you smell do you smell the birdies do you smell the birdies yeah there are birdies out here it's been a while right it's been a minute the herky not been outside in a long time Here's the rascal. Did you know that the Colombian boa imperator or imperator is also known as the common boa and it is one of the most widely known of snake species. Once this predator reaches full adult length in its natural habitat for females that may be up to eight feet even nine feet for some large females for males that is about seven to seven and a half feet possibly even eight feet they will have almost no enemies boas have a relatively thick body when compared to pythons and also boas have buried habitats although the common boa is usually found in rainforests they can also live in drier areas the central american boa is also considered to be a common boa and those boas are a little smaller than their colombian uh, cousins and they live in places like mexico and el salvador nicaragua belize and Guatemala. Typhoon is of the Nicaraguan locality, whereas Hurricane is of the Colombian locality. And there are physical differences between these two common boas. When conditioned to handling, common boas make excellent pets. Well, guys, this is exactly what my little dog was looking at. Can you believe? that Harley, my dog, went herping <laughs> in our backyard. That is so cool. I honestly thought he was waiting for a squirrel to scurry by, but in reality, he went herping. <laughs> and he's been observing this lizard for quite a while. The lizard must have been hiding, and it looks like it camouflages really well with the wood, but Harley... <gasps> Oh no, did you all see that bird? Oh no, he is no longer safe here. With the dog at the bottom and the bird at the top, he's in big trouble. Oh, please hurry, little lizard. Go and find safety. Hurry, hurry, it's not safe for you with so many predators here. Well guys, there you have it. A vlog inspired type video for you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this type of video. Thank you so much for staying with us. 
Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. We hope to see you soon. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs>